Hello everyone and welcome to the Finding Peace Tourism Podcast and today we will be taking a trip up to Helena which is the capital of Montana and we will be doing an open house tour of the Rudy Temple. So before we leave, I need to pack some clothes for the trip. So just to let you guys know, I am recording this in the past, so what you are about to see is some footage of the trip all that we took up to Helena. We did take a stop in a small town along the way called Dillon, Montana, so I'll meet you there after some traveling footage. Let's go! Woo! So they decided to take a stop at Dillon, Montana. So we're at a small little gas station. I'll see you guys there. I hope you guys enjoyed the driving footage up there. I'm not sure how much of that I was able to salvage, but there was some pretty cool stuff that we saw up there. I will see you guys in Helena. Okay, so we are in Helena. Um, we had to go talk to some of the, my neighbors family and yeah we went out with them to go get dinner and now we're currently at a gas station so for tomorrow is gonna be the temple open house and we'll go to see that i'm not sure how much of that i'll be able to film but we will uh, see so yeah let's go see the temple of course for you guys it's gonna be right now for me it's gonna be tomorrow morning Okay, so I am back from the temple, and it is time for me to share some of my thoughts and what I noticed. So let me give you a rundown of what happened after we parked in the church parking lot right next to the temple. So first we went into the meeting house or church, and we walked into the chapel and sat down in a pew and watched a 10 mass studio of when the foundation was poured to the finished product of the temple. Then we were asked to go into a side room, which was their stake high council room, and we watched a video explaining what temples are about, and some sister missionaries gave us instructions about being curious and respectful in the temple. A tour guide met us outside the room, and we were brought to the temple where we put our plastic shoe coverings over our shoes, which would prevent the outside elements from entering the temple. When we entered the temple, we were brought to the recommend desk where temple where the people who pull an active temple recommends can the recommends that allow them to participate in the temple. Then we moved on to the baptismal font where we saw the font where Latter-day Saints perform proxy baptisms for the dead. We also saw the confirmation room where Latter-day Saints stand proxy for the dead so that they can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then we moved into the initiatory rooms where we saw the locker rooms and where the initiatory ordinances are performed. From what I understand, in the initiatory room, Latter-day Saints make covenants and are blessed with certain blessings. At least that's, just, that's from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. We also got to see the locker rooms where Latter-day Saints get dressed in all white clothes to show the status of purity and quality. Then we moved on into the instruction room where we got to sit down in some chairs and the tour guide explained that this is where important covenants or promises are made. We then moved into the celestial room. In this room, the tour guide told us to be quiet and let us ponder for a few minutes. Now this turned out to me because you could feel the presence of Heavenly, our Heavenly Father and his love for us in that room. It was a very spiritual moment in that room that kind of quite touched me. After the celestial room, we moved into the ceiling room where families can be sealed together forever and for all eternity. And this is also where marriages in our church take place as well. After that, we were led to the exit where we took off our plastic shoe coverings and went on our merry way. So I've been to many temple open houses before, but this one was different. Normally they wouldn't show you the initiatory rooms, but on this one they did. Also at previous temple open houses, they didn't have us go into a meeting house and watch the videos that we saw there in Helena, which I found quite interesting. So if you ever get a chance to go to a temple open house, I would highly recommend going to one so you can experience one for yourself. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like this video so others can see it and then subscribe to this channel to help this channel do well. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next Finding Peace or Him podcast. Bye!